Welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks. Do you have what it takes to defeat the Shadow Lord? Shadow Lord looks like a fantasy game, but it's a space game. Right, we're all gonna take the role of Star Masters. We are, each of us, a son or daughter of a once wise and benevolent ruler. We found out we were Star Masters from Moby who informed us that we are all made of stars. The ultimate struggle for the ultimate prize. I think I know what the actual ultimate prize is. Moby's single, we are all made of stars. I was gonna say <laughs> beer. <laughs> From the Prost Brewing Company, Marzen, German style amber longer. It's quite sweet. Mm -hmm. It's buttery. Yeah. This beer was thoughtfully provided to us by Mel. The legend of the Star Lord. There's a Star Lord waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and see us. I love Elton John. But he's busy dealing with Groot. Okay. <laughs> Once a great man ruled the galaxies of the universe. They called him the Star Lord. He was very wise, very good, and very powerful. He could move planets with the point of his finger. He built spaceships. He was supreme. He could move planets with his finger, and yet he had to build spaceships. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't he just build them with his finger? Actually, he built them out of star stardust blown from his hand. When he grew old, he created a beautiful and mysterious crystal. He called it the Power Storm. Storm Stone. Oh. Uh. <laughs> He called it the Power Stone. What does the Power sto 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 do? <laughs> Star-Lord's dream that upon his death the power be preserved for his children. So that's why he created the, the Power Stone. Then the Star-Lord's dream never came to pass. Because the shadows showed up. Everything crumbled. The whole civilization went to shit. Meanwhile... That doesn't say that on the box. Well, crumbled to dust, darkness, and decay. Eh, Same yeah, thing. Shit. shit, pretty much. When he died, the shadows led by the Shadow Lord stole the Power Stone. I can't say stone tonight. Holy cripes. The children of the Star-Lord, masters of earth, air, fire, and water, fled for away, and they hid. If civilization is to flourish again, one and only one master must emerge as the Star-Lord's successor. Or will the Shadow Lord overpower them all with the power stern? I am the fire master. The reason for this is because I'm so fire. I am the earth master because I am so grounded. I'm the air master because I was the last one to arrive. I would just want to point out that the Air Master is a great way to get your cardio in for the day. You hop on the Air Master for like 20 minutes. That's all you need True. to do. The Air Master should not be confused with the Sky Master, which is a spring that you use to tone your thighs. Mm. Funny jokes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Water Master because I brew very kick-ass space beer. This is your home planet, and this is your home oh. planet, and that's yours. Put all you guys up here. Okay. Great. So we're all sons of the Star-Lord. That's right. But do we have different mothers? Or you can be a daughter. Or you can be non-binary. Uh, I don't give a fuck. I appear to be a daughter. I appear to be, it's tough to say, a fish person. <laughs> <laughs> My warrior is Astrid. She's dynamite. My warrior is burn hard, and when you live on the planet of fire, you definitely burn hard. And my warrior is the amazing Randy. <laughs> <laughs> we also each have a diplomat. My diplomat is Guy. Hola. Deems. Egg. <laughs> Each of these discs cannot move unless it has a spaceship in it. So if you put a spaceship in it, that means it has a movement of one. If you put two spaceships in it, that means it has a movement of two. What happens if you put three spaceships in it? Then it can move three. In each corner of the game is a space base. If you have control of the space base, it's going to give you something special every turn. And it's also going to annoy the neighbors late at night. If you control a ruin, a planet with a castle on it, you come in, you gentrify it, you put in a nice coffee shop, and suddenly it's a vital part of the community again. But it's still called a ruin. <laughs> then it's called the ruin. Oh, the ruin. <laughs> and it becomes yes. really hip and yeah. trendy. I'm going to draw a power card. I'm not going to show it to any of you. I'm just going to put it in my general attack area. Now I'm going to roll the dice and do a special event. This is always fun. I'm drawing two more power cards. That's my event. Oh, yeah. Oh. Really, the only way that I can build a spaceship right now is to discard a card from my attack hand, which is totally what I'm going to do. Four. I'm going to build four spaceships. So I can move him two, but I'm going to move right here. And when I stop moving, I can plop out a spaceship. Now I'm going to search for 
dudes. They call that cruising. It's Arnie. Three. So he's a merchant. I can make him a member of my alliance. Hand me a blue disc. Wow. Here's Arnie. Uh, Arnie from Brooklyn. I got a one. What of it? I own a brownstone in Brooklyn. I brought it in the 80s. I'm making a fucking killing. It's I'm... hidden between two other brownstones, you know, like in Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I got a cloaking device. <laughs> it's 137 and a half. I got it in Chinatown, of all places. Come hey, on guys. in. I'm Ag. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of here, Get the, fuck, get the fuck out of here. Oh, come on. Get, get back to Queens. Okay, I'm going to move Astrid one, two, and go to the space station. It's Firemaster's turn, and it's time for me to show everyone who's boss. I got an 11. That's draw two power cards. Same one you got. Build spaceships. I may as well build me seven spaceships. Good lord. That's a lot of spaceships. Wow. You're crazy. Ola is going to go to this neighborhood and she's going to say, Ola! She's a diplomat. What'd you get? Oh no, Marshall Lynx attacks. Oh, you got a shadow. Let's find Marshall Lynx amongst this stack of dinks. He's not attacking you, bro. He's going to attack someone else. You get to decide where he's going to move. Draw a power card from the draw pile. See how many spaceships the shadow receives. Only two. You decide where you want to put him anywhere on the board, except for a home planet. I'm going to have him attack Astrid. We all get to vote whether we want to <laughs> let this happen or not. You get to vote on whether your enemy attacks or hey, not? Hey, we're all related, you know? We're all okay. family, so we kind of get to, like, work some of this stuff out. Astrid's not part of our family. Yeah, well, she's Astrid's my... Astrid's your friend. She's my friend. If just one player votes yes, the shadow stays where you've placed him and fights a battle. Well, I vote yes just because I want to see a battle. If any of the other players votes yes. Vote yes. I, I will not be swayed by your persuasion campaign. Yes, I vote yes. Ola's going to leave a spaceship there so I control that. And then Firemaster's going to go here and control this. Pretty solid game plan, Firemaster. I keep wanting to call you Fire Marshal. Let me show you something. The bunny foo foo walking through the forest, <laughs> picking up the field mice and bobbing them on the head. That's I went horrible. to Bible camp, so I learned about little bunny foo foo and Satan. Little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you touching on your penis while you're in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you out there are familiar with our supreme leader, Sloth Jr.? He's been the supreme leader for many months now, and he's keeping our show going at full steam, and we just want to give him the credit that he deserves. Supreme Leader is the top tier on patreon.com slash beer and board games, and so that means Sloth Jr. is top dog. He's like the beer and board games fire marshal. Sure. <laughs> I built my spaceships, I moved, the shadow has moved, and now fight. Yeah, all right. It's time to get out the battlefield. Ooh. <laughs> we take each of the competing factions and stick them like this. It's Matt's turn, so he's gonna run Marshal Lynx. It's Matt's turn. Hey, Marshal Lynx, what the fuck's your problem? I don't like you. Okay, well, I'm going to beat the living shit out of you. We'll see about that. Dick weed. The way this works is there's three points areas that get added together to figure out who won the battle. Defender may play one power card from underneath his character portrait face up. All right, so it's two. Attacker draws one card from the draw pile and places it face up. A four. Oh. The defender does the same. A four. Dead. Duh. You can call characters from other places to you if you want. I'm not going to. I could have brought my water master over here. I don't think you need to. But I don't need to. She's a six. Marshall Lynx is a three. Marshall Lynx, you're a pussy. Cat. My total was 14. His total was nine. I beat him. The winner of the battle immediately draws a card to see how many spaceships were destroyed during the battle. Four. Both the winner and loser are subject to losing spaceships. Yeah, they lost two spaceships because of that. Ooh. One time, Courtney and I were at Mana Cafe, <laughs> and there was this guy and, like, probably his daughter or something, and she was doing coloring or something, and he was he had his phone up to his mouth. And we didn't register at first, but every, then every so often we heard a doodly. Doodly. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> 10 seconds. Doodly. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't understand anything he was saying. He was casting spells with his phone. <laughs> he was like... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing?
doing, sir? <laughs> Doodloop. Wise Cthulhu Lord of Darkness. Doodloop. Doodloop. Hail Mary, full of grace. Lord of Doodloop. I get to build spaceships. I get. Yeah, you can't move yet. What are you doing? Oh, you're not supposed to show oh, us. Oh! That's this like is a, a how bluffing many... card. You put it under a guy to make it seem like you're more powerful than you actually are. When do I get to decide how many spaceships I build? You're not building shit. You got a zero yeah, card. You... Doug, you can talk now if you want. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, just... I, re I really like you even though you're stupid. No, you can't look I at that. Like That's you. Vigo. Oh. Yeah, Vigo Vigo's can't do that. Not a diplomat. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, all right, can I get from here to the ruin? I don't know, can you? <laughs> uh, may I? I'm stupid. <laughs> can we just all work together and banish the Shadow Lords and all win? But then we're going to fight over the little Power Stone. Power Stone is the goal. Our family is basically over with. We're just at each other's throats. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's no more sibling bond no we it's just like want to win oasis or the beach boys or clue yeah i remember that day when we were kids and you took me and you bought me ice cream those days are gone when you went off to college and you mm. gave me all of your old albums yeah it meant so much to me but that's gone i made two friends who oh randy, randy and, and <laughs> It's at this point in the show when we toast our patrons at patreon.com slash beer and board games, beer and board games, for, that's right, buying us a beer. This is something that we greatly appreciate, and we greatly ap appreciate these four patrons, including Captain Loudpants, Adrian, Thomas Rogers, Cheesemaster007. Cheers! Cheers to all of you. I love that name, Cheesemaster007. Gouda! I think we're going to have a visit from our tiny little friend, Tiny Dave Matthews. <laughs> Hi, Tiny Dave. How's it going? Pretty good. I heard you got into a little bit of trouble. Oh, uh, you know. I dumped some of that tiny of sewage over the edge oh, of the bridge. Oh, no. Yeah. You did that? I sure did. You, didn't you learn the lesson of normal-sized Dave yeah, Matthews? Yeah, but I, it was so tiny. It was a little amount. A little tiny bit. But you still got in trouble with it. It only landed on two people. <laughs> What's the big deal? I learned my lesson, okay? I got canceled on Twitter. Well, I understand that you had to do some community service as a result of this. What, yeah. what, what form did that take? I had to help uh, other small people overcome some difficulty. Like mental difficulties? No. Self-esteem, that kind of thing? No, no, just uh, uh, physical difficulty. Can you give me an example? Well, there was one tiny man and he wanted to get over a wall, but he was too small, so I lifted him up. Okay. And there was another one who couldn't reach a door handle. <laughs> so I lifted him up. I hope that... Uh... You know, this whole experience uh, has helped you to grow as a, per a person, a tiny person. It has. I've grown an inch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thanks for visiting with us, Tiny. Yeah. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Air Master with Randy and Egg. It's your it's turn. It's time for the Air Master to blow away the competition. Punch. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Discover a character disc. Ooh. Let me look it up. This will take seven minutes. <laughs> You may turn over any face-down character disc and add it to your alliance if you wish. If the character is a warrior, merchant, or diplomat, refer to B under the same section. What? Please note, if you discover a character disc on a galaxy occupied by an enemy, fight that enemy only if you choose not to... <sighs> they never remade this game, did they? Nope. Sigurd, it's a diplomat. Ag is gonna go here. We're gonna flip this over. Oh, no! It's Duke Halifax. Attacks. The Scourge of Nova Scotia. <laughs> Power six. He could do some serious damage That's to right. somebody if placed appropriately. He is going to guard this ruin. All right. Well, we played a round of Shadow Lord, and it was fun. And I think we're done. So I win. My posse. Just call me Amber of the morning, Ambers. Just touch my face because you need me, darling. I don't remember how those lyrics go. No, you don't. 